All right, let me give you a short explanation of how Michelle and I use this activity with large groups, pretty much any size, as long as you can get their attention and demonstrate the connections or handshakes. We start out with asking everyone to go back to back, so they'll go back to back with a partner. Now to do this, people just have to mingle around, find someone that doesn't have a partner and go back to back. I always say if you need a partner, raise your hand and look for somebody else doing the same thing. Once everybody has a partner, then here's how it works. Introduce the, hand, the handshake or connection, which would, we'll just do the high five. So Michelle and I will demonstrate the high five. So I would say as a facilitator, okay, ready, go. Turn around, high five. The directions then would include, after you do your handshake, you go find another partner and stand back to back. So then Michelle and I would find another partner, stand back to back. Now, I'm going to introduce then the fist bump. Right? Now with that introduction, now there's the second handshake, okay? then they would do the fist bump, then they would go find their high five partner and do a high five with that partner, and then they would find a new partner to stand back to back with. So this becomes a memory type of a game, very highly energetic, interactive, ask them not to run too fast, keep it nice and safe, but they're going to progressively work back through the handshakes that they already have done. So for example, we would turn around, they know they're going to do a fist bump, and then they're going to go find their high five partner, then they're going to stand back to back with someone new. So I would say, ready, go. You do your fist bump with your new partner, run around and you go find your high five partner, then you run around or walk and find a new partner to stand back to back with. What we like about the back to back aspect of this is, according to our good friend Jim Kane, who I learned this from, it gets people to focus and stop talking for the most part and be ready to listen for directions. So it's a good tool and a tip to use as well for anything that you're doing. Just ask people to stand back to back with someone else and you can get their attention for the next step of your program. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle Cummings with Training Wheels. This is Chris Cavert with Fun Doing. Be sure to check out all of our online resources at both of our respective websites. Have fun out there.